Hi, it's Phone Chick 29. I'm here with another mini. <clears throat> this one I made. It goes along with a cigar box. It's been altered. Um, it's for a swap for uh, Martika. And um, let me just briefly go through this. Forgive the camera angle. Um, doing this one-handed. So, um, first off, there's a lot of charms here. Um, I am a Tim Holtz swivel clasp. If you can see it. There's some beads, a uh, bird cage, some little birds here and there uh, to go along with the spring theme. Lots of fibers and pom poms and ribbons. Got some flowers here that have been glimmer misted. A uh, couple of vintage looking items, some butterflies, a uh, chipboard that I've painted in silver to match the rest of the album. Uh, cameo, little metal cameo in the corner, some trim, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Tim Holtz dress form, sorry about my voice, I'm trying to get over a cold, uh, Tim Holtz key hole, and um, miscellaneous butterflies, and it's held closed with uh, this ribbon here, and there's some tool on the dress form as well. So here's the first page. Pretty basic, some tags, <clears throat> a bunch of tags actually. I won't take them all out, but uh, spots for journaling in the back. And this one's really shiny. I don't know if you can see that. And they just slide here into the paper, paper that I cut to make a pocket and uh, did some leaf stamping and some flowers. So, a bunch of tags here. Let me just fix those. Um, this page, again, some more tags. This comes out, this photo mat. There's some tags in here that come out. And on the back, just plain with some photo corners. Some ribbon, a flower, and some rickrack uh, ribbon as well. Um, the paper collection that I used, oh, I just noticed that came undone. The paper collection that I used was a die cuts with a view uh, spring fling, I think it was. The next page, um, some more ribbon, some bling, a uh, little stamping up scalloped envelope with a note card inside. A uh, photo mat here, they can tuck a photo in here. And on the other side, um, just some stamping, some distressing, and a spot for a photograph. I thought that was cute. Uh, it's a stamping up stamp, so thanks for watching over me, and there's watches hanging from an umbrella, so I thought that was cute. Um, here's another uh, stamp that's been embossed with some uh, bronze embossing powder here, which is really pretty, very springy. It just goes in there, and the envelope tucks in. Uh, this page, very busy, uh, lots of tags. Uh, I made a, a corner here, corner pocket. Some tags, I won't take them all out. I'll show you this one though. This again is another um, from the same stamping up set. It says thanks for the support. And there's a corset with some flowers. I thought that was just too cute. In the back is just some, some glimmer mist and distressing. And that just slides back in there. And a bunch, like I said, a bunch of tags here. Um, this page, a pocket page, photo mat. Um, there's some fibers here. In the back, um, just another plain photo mat. Again, stamp and embossed with that stamping up set. Um, very springy. I think it's called a Rue de Fleur. And that just tucks in there. Here I have some bling, uh, some paper that I ran through and um, did some crimping on. Another envelope, a little tool, a uh, bow, and then some bling here. This page, um, again, pocket page. We've got some greens, um, dragonfly. Spot for a photograph, again, same thing with this envelope comes out. And a spot for a photograph and some journaling on the back. And then here is another embossed image. This page is a uh, Sizzix uh, frame that's been cut out of chipboard. Did some embossing on that, some bling, lots of flowers here, and this comes out, and they can just put a photograph in here. And then there's a pom-pom trim at the bottom. 
this page is very busy. <laughs> uh, butterfly, we've got a photo mat here with the Tim Holtz bird cage. Did some stamping on the bird. A little Brad. Another stamping up stamp. Um, and then the background stamp with some birds flying. On the back, uh, this bird is popped out, so she can stick a photograph underneath here. And again, this just went through the crimper. And that slides into this pocket very carefully. <laughs> this page, lots of tags. Um, we've got quite a few tags here. Did some stamping and some distressing. Again, stamping, distressing. This comes out here. <clears throat> Spot for some journaling. Um, there is a piece of acetate here that comes out and uh, another card here with some spots for journaling as well. And then uh, another stamp. I won't take that out. And these just go back in. Um, and by the way, it's a chipboard album. It's uh, 7 by 5 this page has got some trim, some flowers, some butterflies, uh, beautiful Webster's Pages trim, and then some, some miscellaneous tags. Um, let me pull this one out. This one that I just uh, colored in with the, my markers and did some stamping on. Spot for a photograph on the back. And a bunch of other little tags in the back here. And this page is a page I kind of created, um, held together with a teeny little ribbon, a spot for some journaling and a photograph. This opens here and um, here. And this is a deep pocket, so there's a bunch of tags in here. I won't take them all out. There's some ribbon and trim some journaling, spot for photograph and journaling here. And it also opens this way. So spots for a couple photographs here and then opens this way as well. So some tags and a spot for a large photograph here. And um, that's pretty much it. Just got a, a Tim Holtz um, pin holding the ribbon for the closure. And just have some, some beads and some bling here. And the back is pretty plain, again with that uh, spring fling collection, which has rhinestones in it, which I thought was just too cute. So that's my mini album. I uh, hope she enjoys it. Uh, let me show you real quick the altered cigar box that goes with it. Um, here's the altered cigar box. Uh, matches the mini almost exactly, except for I added this frame and this vintage photo, and I did some coloring on the photograph. So the flowers match the flowers that I have along the outside of the cigar box. The feet of the cigar box, one of my favorite features, they are crystal drawer poles. So when you get, you know, buy a drawer, you want poles. <laughs> and I added some regular, um, you know, non non skid feet to the bottom of those. But I just thought they were just adorable. And inside, I left it pretty, pretty plain. Um, there's a note in there and a couple of charms and a fleur de -lis charm in here and then a letter for the recipient. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.